Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Concordia St. Paul Golden Bears Rocket League stream. Today, we have some awesome NECC action coming your way. Two undefeated teams stepping onto the pitch today for this best of five. One team being the Concordia St. Paul Golden Bears, and the other team being the Howard Dragons. Uh, if that name sounds familiar and rings a bell, it's because... Concordia competed against the Howard Dragons in Valorant last night. They came out victorious, but now it's time to meet up with the Dragons on the, the pitch. So, looking forward to it, you know, and the, this matchup has some big uh, divisional seeding hey implications, guys, right? Both these squads are coming in with a 2-0 and zero record, trying to continue that perfect run right now. But... You know, it's going to be it's going to be a tough matchup. We saw the Golden Bears take a clean 3-0 victory last night in the Star League division that they participate in. And now switching over to a different league entirely and boasting an undefeated record. So impressive feats from both of these two schools. But only one will come out with that undefeated record after today's matchup. And it's going to be a good one. Same roster for the Golden Bears as we saw last night. Chick Hicks, Goosey, and Elusive or Millimeter Peter, rather. So, I mean, we saw great team play coming out from the side of Concordia St. Paul. They got off straight on the jump in that first matchup, and they were putting on a lot of offensive pressure. And honestly, the University of Eastern Idaho was struggling yesterday. You know, they didn't really get into the swing of things until game three in the series. And by that point, the Golden Bears were already on match point and they closed out quickly. So finishing up a few remaining things here before we get into this best of five, but we should have Rocket League action coming your way momentarily.
Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We made it, or more so, the Howard Dragons finally made it. You know, having a little bit of a knack for showing up late. Somebody's going to have to get them a pocket watch so they can get to game time on time. But we get into it now. Both these squads are 2-0, and and we're looking at a good matchup on our hands. Golden Bears on the orange side, the Howard Dragons on the blue side. As we get right into kickoff, Chick Hicks going to start out nicely. Playing it back into the Dragon zone. Good takeaway from Goosey. And CSP starting out with that early offensive showing, and that's exactly the kind of ball we like to see him play. Up in the opposing team's face and not giving him time to make decisions. And Chick Hicks is rocking the Fortnite Battle Bus. That is something else. Not often do you see that. A good pass out front, but the save by Millimeter Peter is there. Goosey now plays it to the corner. Looking for follow-up, has time. Oh, puts it off the defender, and he puts it in the own goal. What a big brain play from Goosey. Sees the defenders coming up right next to him and just throws the ball off the front of his car, and he did the rest of the work for him. A 1-0 lead, the side of Concordia St. Paul. What a play to start out game number one. Ooh, and a stalemate off this faceoff. The follow-up is there from CSP. Wing Blong trying to get something worked out of the corner. JR on the follow-up. Defended it nicely from Goosey. Millimeter Peter can't find the look on it. Now Goosey to play it into the corner. Gets denied by Bling Blong. The kicks, playing it up the half wall, wins out on the 50 against JR. Looking for a follow-up shot, just off the post. A good look, could not find the mark though. As Asimov steps up. Now only really one scoring chance coming out for the side of Howard Dragons. What a save made by Chick Hicks as I say that. Keeping them out of the goal. 327 to play here in game number one. JR trying to clear this one back. Nice shot there going back towards the goal. Millimeter Peter though with a nice save. Goosey winning out on that 50 ball. Now pushing for more. Nice setup ball out front. No follow up yet from the Golden Bears though. And a good challenge. Keeping that ball airborne. Chick Hicks doing what he can as well. Ball's in a dangerous spot. CSP go for goal and a save is made by JR. Big play coming out for the Howard Dragons. It's a little bit of a team pump goes down there. That should be beneficial for the side of CSP. Goosey taps it past the defender. Chick Hicks now going for goal up high off the crossbar. Goosey with the follow up and it's a 2-0 lead the way of the Golden Bears. And that's great team play. Goosey eats a chick kicks. Back to Goosey off the crossbar and the strong finish. 239 to play in game number one. A 2-0 lead the way of Concordia St. Paul. Face off. Play to the midfield. Bling Bong trying to step up now. It's denied. Great aerial touch there from Chick Hicks. Goosey with the follow-up. Trying to play this one forward. Good ball for CSP. Now, losing out on that 50, but Millimeter Peter's right there to back him up. Ooh, good demolition coming out from Chick Hicks. Game's slowing down a little bit in the middle of things here. Oh, what a touch. Asimov's going to get that one to go, cutting the lead in half. Goosey played it back, and that's just an unlucky touch. Save wasn't able to be made from Millimeter Peter. No harm there. Lead still the way of Concordia St. Paul. Just under two minutes remaining here in game number one. Both these squads undefeated, and reminder, playing for divisional seeding, right? There's more on the line here than a normal match. Both these squads looking to continue that undefeated record. Goosey drops it out front, but JR with a nice time clear. And the follow-up as well. Gonna get demoed. That's a dangerous ball up on top of the backboard. Goosey goes up and clears it out of harm's way. 
Nice touch from Chick Hicks over the defender. Bling Bong on the follow up though, keeping this ball in the offensive side of things. Howard Dragons looking to strike, only have a minute 15 remaining here in game number one. Asimov with a nice touch. Ooh, dangerous ball, Goosey going up top for it, denied by Asimov. Just about a minute remains here in the first matchup between these squads today. Nice ball from Goosey. No follow-up, though, from the other Golden Bears. Trying to keep things in the offensive zone here and trying to limit Howard Dragon's opportunity to tie this thing up. 40 seconds and counting. Denial from Asimov, keeping the ball towards the midfield. The Dragons now need to strike. 30 seconds remain. They go for goal and it's cleared out safely from Chick Hex. Big time clear there. Keeping the Golden Bears in it. Goosey trying to find a look there. Couldn't find the touch he was looking for. Only 15 seconds now. Goosey going back for goal. And it's cleared away nicely from JR. Millimeter Peter plays it back to the midfield. Goosey goes for it, can't find the look. Bling Bong trying to bring this one back and time ticking away. Gonna have to get this one in the net if they want to stay alive and they will do it. Tie it up at zero seconds on the clock and we will have to head into overtime to separate these squads for game number one. Well played ball there from Bling Bong. Perfect setup to JR out front and that's just a tap in. Next goal wins in this first matchup between these squads, Goosey. Winning out on that faceoff, looking for more follow-up. Millimeter Peter plays it back to his teammate. That's a nice shot, but defended nicely as well. Lucy now into the corner, drops it out front. Kicked out by Asimov though. Millimeter Peter steps up, doesn't find the touch he was looking for. Played it back to his own goal. JR is gonna close it out in the Howard Dragons. Take game number one. And a couple misplays end up being the difference maker. The first save was made, but Millimeter Peter wishing he could add that touch back. As the Golden Bears are gonna have to bounce back going into game number two. Great turnaround from the Howard Dragons though. Really clutching up in the final minute of regulation there. Bringing that ball into the corner and it was a perfect setup play from Gwing Bong. But I didn't see bad play from Concordia. There was a strong opening, two unanswered goals, but then the defense just started to falter a little bit. Lots of saves made though, you know, you can't argue that there was lack of the, you know, saving that was done by the side of Concordia. Plenty of saves across the board. As we get ready to head into game number two of this best of five series. Face-off coming underway. Concordia going to look to get back to that strong early opening like they had in game number one. Just going to have to find a way to hold on to that lead. No room for those defensive lapses. Good ball from Chick Hicks. Plays it into the corner. Now looking for follow-up. Losing out on the 50 though. Asimov, a nice clear. He plays it to himself, looking for more. Good demolition from Chick Hicks. Gets around the final defender. And I want to see more boost denial from the side of Concordia. You know, keep playing offensively and aggressively and try to take away more from this side of the Howard Dragons. That boost control comes in to be so pivotal in these matchups. And a nice denial by the Golden Bears. Good 50 for Millimeter Peter. A dangerous ball played back into the Concordia zone. But Goosey clearing it out nicely. And follow-up touches as well. Nice flick over the defender. And he's going to follow up on that flick shot. What an intro to game number two from the captain. Keeping that ball on top of the car the entire time. Bling bong to the goal. And that's a nice doubt finish there from Goosey. 1-0 the way of Concordia St. Paul. 3.55 to play in game number two. Good touch off the face off. Ooh, the follow ups there. Goosey going back for goal. Denied by Bling Blong. Well saved there. 
from the Howard Dragons as they go for goal now. Good denial from Chick Hicks, though. And a good time to step up and pinch. And the demolition. That's something that I love to see from Chick Hicks. Always going for that aggressive play style. And the demolitions. Ball off the crossbar. JR going for it. I think I saw a little bit of a rule one taking place. And that is exactly what's going on. Goosey stuck down here in that rule one. Folks, for those of you who don't know. Uh, if two of cars come in head to head and collide like that and you're kind of stuck against each other There's really no moving there. It's a it's a stalemate And I mean you can see both those cars not moving over towards the Howard Dragons net But it's gonna end up costing Concordia as bling bong We'll put that one away and tie things up at one here One a piece for these squads We've had a tight matchup here so far millimeter Peter Trying to find the back of the net there, but didn't get the shot off that he needed. Good demo from Goosey. Asimov trying to play it back. Nice turnover by Goosey. Going back the offensive way. Puts it back out front, but it's cleared out by Bling Bong. Nice ball from Chick Hicks. Looking for more. Ooh, that's trouble from Asimov. Gets around one defender. Cannot beat the goalie, though. 235 to play here in game number two. It's a nice touch from Goosey off the backboard. Played out nicely by the Howard Dragons. Goosey now going up top, looking for an aerial play, controlling the ball nicely, but Asimov steps up and makes the play. Millimeter Peter now beats the defender. Needs more bling bong, plays it off the backboard. That might be trouble. JR gets denied. Well saved by Goosey. Two minutes remain here in game number two. A nice touch from Goosey off the back of his car to Chick Hicks. Ball out front. Bling bong goes for the aerial though. Millimeter Peter now setting back up. And he buries from the top of the roof. What a shot coming out from Millimeter Peter. Beautiful touch. Placement could not be any more perfect. And Asimov, tricky dealing with those vertical shots coming down on top of you. Lead back the way of Concordia St. Paul. 2-1 is the score. Now it's time to hold on to that lead and even this series up at one. It's Chick Hicks stepping up to the plate now. Pushing it back into the offensive zone and this is where you gotta keep these Howard Dragons. If you want to stay in control of this game, keep the ball in their defensive zone, keep that aggression up, and keep taking away the, that boost, right? That aerial play has been a strong suit for the Howard Dragons. And Goosey as well. Denied by Asimov. JR plays it to the back half wall. Looking for follow up. Wing Blong drops it for Asimov. Good denial from Chick Hicks. Oh, that's a nice shot there, but Goosey. Back at the goal line and clutching up on that save. 103 to play here. One goal lead the way of CSP. Oh, Goosey kicked it out front, but Chick Hicks couldn't find it. A nice look there from the Golden Bears, but not able to capitalize. 45 seconds remain here in game number two. Chick Hicks. Gets the ball taken off the hood of his car. 35 seconds remain. Golden Bears still up one. He's playing it back. Millimeter Peter looking for the follow-up. Could not find it quite yet. Goosey. Ball's at the midfield. 15 seconds. And this is where Concordia got scored on to tie things up. It was in that, that final zero seconds and the ball being airborne. So you have to defend your defensive zone, and that's exactly what they do. Ball back out to midfield, but still time remaining. JR, ball in a dangerous spot, but Millimeter Peter bats it to the ground, and Concordia take game number two. We are all tied up here at one apiece, and we're looking at a good matchup. 2-1 is what the scorecard shows. And a solid matchup from these squads as we get right back into things. Game number three, beginning shortly. Concordia's strong suit, getting on the offensive early, applying that pressure. 
and giving the other team no room to breathe. As Goosey takes the face off nicely. Ball out front. That might be trouble for the Howard Dragons. Bling Bong trying to clear it off the backboard. Kicked out front. Goosey with an opportunity. Denied by JR. Good ball for the Dragons. Goosey back to defend. And he kicks it out of harm's way. Well played for the captain. Beats the defender going back for goal. Asimov clears it all the way down. That might be on, but it's high and off the crossbar. Golden Bears lucking out on that one. That was a close opportunity from Asimov. Millimeter Peter stepping up now. Keeping the ball in the offensive zone as Goosey plays it high to the midfield. Asimov coming up, looking for the double tap, sets it down out front, but it's defended nicely from Millimeter Peter. The Golden Bears going back on the attack now. Goosey kicks it out front. Where's the follow-up? Chick kicks off the post. The follow-up shot off the crossbar, post to post. The Golden Bears cannot strike yet. But that pressure, that offensive prowess is showing through. Nice ball from Asimov, touches up, following up his own touch. Chick Hicks plays it back to the midfield, a nice bump. Leading the aggressiveness, and that's that play that I love to see out of Chick Hicks. Keep it up. JR playing it back the other way, can't find the look. Asimov gets denied by Goosey in goal. Beautiful save. Chick Hicks now playing it out, JR. Trying to deny. JR's been somewhat of a nuisance in the offensive zone so far. Doing what he can to really just be uh, annoying to these Golden Bears. Always challenging, always going for those contests. Playing a solid series of Rocket League so far. Bling Bong picks up the demolition. Asimov sets it up off the backboard. Looking for the follow-up shot denied by Millimeter Peter. And still scoreless here in game number three, folks. What a series we are having. 2.40 to play it, but Goosey off the crossbar. Can't find the follow-up on his own shot. The Golden Bears have hit three posts so far in this game number three. Surely will bury if they keep up this pressure. It's only a matter of time. But my goodness, the posts have been helping out this side of Howard Dragons. Nice ball from Goosey to the corner. Now looking for follow-up as we hit the two-minute mark here in game number three. The series all tied up. These squads 2-0 and oh in the NECC tournament so far. And reminder, divisional seedings are on the line. These squads cannot afford losses this early in the season, right? You're playing for only stricter competition as you move forward. Both teams not giving an inch right now in game number three as we are still at nil-nil. Good ball from Millimeter Peter. With the follow-up from Bling Blong as he goes back for goal. This could be trouble. Goosey with the heroic save again. The captain denies at the goal line, but JR with the follow-up will strike first in game number three can only rely on those heroic saves so many times. A beautiful touch from JR played from the corner. And now 1-0 lead for the Howard Dragons. 127 left here in game number three. Chick Hicks though, setting the ball up, denied by Asimov. The Golden Bears have a minute 15 to tie things up and look for an overtime. Asimov plays it to the corner. Lucy on the follow-up, looking for more, kicks it out front. Good ball, just a little bit hot coming out of the corner. As Bling Blong will clear, beats the defender, but Goosey back to make the save. One minute remaining here, folks. And the Golden Bears are starting to run out of time here in game number three. Good ball to the corner, can't find the follow-up out front. Millimeter Peter now plays it back up to the half wall, trying to drop this one out front. Howard Dragon stepping up. Goosey with the shot on net, and that would have found its mark if Millimeter Peter didn't get in the way. Unlucky series of events right there for the Golden Bears, and what a double tap that is from Bling Blong. 
brings the ball all the way up to the post and pinches it in. A clean 2-0 lead now the way of the Howard Dragons. And that just goes to show you can't have those kind of fumbles in that offensive zone. You know, you're looking at a tied up game potentially, and instead it doesn't go your way. And the Dragons come down and take a 2-0 lead. 20 seconds remain in game number three. Dangerous ball, and we might be looking at a 2-1 series lead the way the Howard Dragons. Samov's going to hit one off the crossbar. Can't find its mark. As the time will tick away, and the Howard Dragons will advance to 2-1 and one in this series. Two-one series. And now, you know, Concordia, lots of offensive looks. Five shots on goal in total. I mean, you know, not as many as the Howard Dragons. But the opportunities were there. I mean, three of those were hard posts where it surely could have been a goal for the Concordia St. Paul Golden Bears. Now going to have to get out to a strong start here. They're facing down match point. And if they want to keep that undefeated record in the NECC, they have to step up here big in game number four and push it to a game five. It's a nice face-off start for the Golden Bears. They so often they get off to a good face-off and good opportunities early on the get-go. It's just if they will be able to capitalize and put these uh, these shots in the back of the net. Dangerous ball out front, but it's cleared away nicely up to Goosey. And that is money, and that is exactly what you're looking for from the side of Concordia St. Paul. Such a sick pass from Chick Hicks. Knows exactly where his cap's going to be. And look at that front wheel rotation. Beautiful finish off the one-timer. Goosey striking first here in game number four. And that was remarkable from the side of the Golden Bears. Those are those passing plays that we are seeing a lot of last night from these Golden Bears, and they, they team up for a sick highlight there. Nice touch from Goosey, keeping this one in the offensive zone. Captain's starting to not mess around anymore. Kicking it into that next gear, and that's exactly what you need after that game three performance. Not able to get onto the scorecard, and they start out strong here in game number four. But now it's about holding on denying the Howard Dragons. This has been an exceptional Rocket League team and a great opposition for these Golden Bears. Definitely giving them a test. Nice setup from Bling Bong. That's a troublesome ball. The follow-up from JR and a nice tap off the post. The finesse shot can't find its mark, but the Howard Dragons are getting scoring chances. 335 remains in game number four. Bling Bong going back for gold, denied by Chick Hicks, plays it to the corner. Looking for follow up, JR on the takeaway. Asimov getting a go at it, plays it to the corner for himself, trying to drop it out front towards JR, can't find it on the pass. Goosey plays it to the midfield, no boost for himself, gonna have to fall back and recover now. Full tank of gas goes back up top. JR on the follow up and it's another post for the Howard Dragons. But Asimov will hit it on the follow up shot and tie us up at one apiece. And that's two post shots for the Howard Dragons. Now the scoring opportunities are starting to flood in. The Golden Bears are gonna have to start denying in their defensive zone a little bit better here. As we are tied up at one apiece in game number four, match point favoring the side of the Howard Dragons. A dangerous ball denied by Chick Hicks, so nice save made at the doorstep. Bling Blong gets denied, nice aerial challenge from Chick Hicks. The Golden Bears need to stay on, keep the pressure on. You gotta start suffocating this defense from the side of Howard Dragons. Millimeter Peter can't find the look. JR, nice setup off the back wall. Bluffs it on that. I don't know if it was a little bit of a fake or trying to set up for a teammate to come in for that touch, but maybe a missed communication for the side of the Howard Dragons. 
Asimov stepping up big. Kicking it out front, and JR will bury, and it's a 2-1 lead the way of the Howard Dragons. 2.15 on the clock here in game number four. Golden Bears are going to have to stay locked in and bounce back quickly now. Plenty of time on the clock. It's just about getting those good scoring looks, and that's exactly what Concordia need now. Asimov on the follow-up. Dangerous ball, and you know, for as long as the series is going on, the Howard Dragons have totally been getting more and more offensive opportunities as the series has progressed. Nice ball from Chick Hicks. Goosey on the follow-up. Gets denied on the aerial challenge. Nice touch there. Chick Hicks over to Millimeter. Peter cannot find it, though. Goosey stopping it on a dime. Going for more. Running into his own squad mate there. Trying to find some separation. Gets dem demoed. But tried to play it back into the offensive zone. A minute 30 now. Golden Bears starting to run out of time. Well played ball from Goosey. Chick Hicks on the follow up now. Bling Bong plays it off the back wall. Looking for follow up on his own ball. Ch good denial from Millimeter Peter now. And a good dunk from Chick Hicks. Knocking that one out of midair. Oh, what a snipe from Asimov. It finds top right. And man, now Concordia St. Paul down two with just a minute seven to play. And they're going to have to find a way to get onto that scoring sheet again and quickly. You do not want to continue to run out of time here. You have to strike quickly. The offense is staying up for the Howard Dragons, and that's another freebie. The Golden Bears are starting to fall apart here in game number four. 101 to play, and they're down three now. This is going to be tough, but surely not over yet. If you come out, you get a quick one on the faceoff, you can still make this a match. Good ball from the captain. They need one right now, and that's exactly what they get. Chick Hicks will strike off the faceoff. The captain sets him up to perfection. And Chick Hicks goes bar down. What a sick shot. Could not be more picture perfect. 56 seconds remain and the Golden Bears are down two. They're going to need to strike again quickly if they want to stay alive. Oh, what a dunk out of Bling Blong. Chick Hicks tries to clear it out of town, but Asimov jump, or Bling Blong jumping up and denying entirely. Well placement from that car. And will bury down at three again for the side of the Golden Bears. 53 seconds remaining. And yeah, I mean, I think the Howard Dragons really started to warm up getting into this series. They started to really have a more aerial control, it feels like, and they were getting to those uh, loose balls quicker than the side of the Golden Bears. 35 seconds remain here, folks, as time starts to fade away and bling blong will get one to go. That was a sick aerial play from him. Goosey tried to deny him and go up top and contest. It was a good saving attempt from Millimeter Peter, but that one, he got too close and going to drop it in. 6-2, score lead the way of the Howard Dragons. And that might be it here, folks, for this first Rocket League series of the day. Golden Bears doing what they can, but the Howard Dragons... A much fiercer opponent on the Rocket League pitch today. And I mean, 2-0, right? We knew these both these squads were undefeated. Nice dunk from the captain. Didn't have enough mustard on it, though, to put it in the back of the net. As time will fade away, and the Howard Dragons will walk away with a 3-1 series victory over the CSP Golden Bears moving them to a 3-0 record in the NECC division. And CSP dropping to a 2-1. But, folks, we have another Rocket League series on the cards for 6 o'clock. So a little bit of a break. Let these CSP boys reset, go over the VOD, figure out those defensive zone lapses because that really ended up being the difference maker towards the, the latter half of this series. I mean, it was, you know, the offensive opportunities were there, 
just uh, could not find the capitalization that they needed. So thank you for coming out and listening to the first part of our double header today. We will be back around 6 o'clock, and hopefully we will get the show on the road right away. Thank you, everyone, for being here again. My name is Skepter. This has been the Concordia St. Paul Golden Bears Rocket League stream. Thanks for coming out.